Back here on the AUEagles.com post-game show, I'm joined by head coach Barry Goldberg. And coach, you knew this was going to be a huge one for you after having lost the first match of the league at Colgate. This one, now you own the tiebreaker here in the Patriot League standings. Well, we still have, you know, five or six more matches to play on the road for four of them. And uh, so we still got a little ways to go before we can say who's going to win and lose and those kind of things and what standings. But uh, most of all, team is playing better for... Uh, you know, it's been eight weeks now of us playing, nine weeks, this is the ninth week we're playing. We're starting to get to know uh, each other a lot better. Uh, the new players are really adding on to uh, our success now, and certainly uh, Asla and Zainab, uh, who are brand new and kind of finding their way here, having ups and downs, really are starting to show their, their grit and their, their play, which has been very good. And I thought for sure we had Helena on the outside they're smacking some balls regularly uh, and just really got into the flow and uh, you know both middles Vela was good I thought uh, coming in there um, hasn't played for a little bit there got her chance here and I thought she played a good match and Nucci you know, Nucci is, is a mover man that girl can jump quick and beat you to the punch and um, so it was an overall very very good teamwork and uh, Olivia is a big reason for it here she's learning really how to run the show better becoming more confident looking around understands her mistakes getting better at what she's doing still going through a little bit with the shins and this, you know and the pounding on the floor but she's doing a great job and uh, we've got a good team here and hopefully we'll uh, keep this thing uh, producing more and more as we go. And you mentioned uh, momentarily the two, or the new players. You have the two Turkish freshmen, Uzen and Shelly Gold, certainly coming into their own. Two of the three players this afternoon with double digits. Talk about their performance. Well, I mean, uh, Asla, uh, in the last two matches this weekend, she, she started and uh, she was being used in and out and wasn't really producing a lot of kills for a little while. So we gave her a little break and I think she got hungry. Mm -hmm. and, uh, nothing like hunger, you know. And she's wrapping the ball pretty good. And uh, Zainab is just uh, such a, I mean, she's, we have a nickname for Zainab. We'll give you a little bit of detail. We call her the butcher <laughs> because she can slice it and dice it really nice. She hits a lot of balls off hands and uh, she cuts around the blocks a lot. And uh, she can just chop things up very well and, and makes a lot of nice kills and passes good balls. And, and uh, she doesn't know that nickname, by the way, but now that we're on the air, everybody's going to know it. But uh, she's doing great and uh, they're really playing a good, good uh, position for us uh, to, to keep getting better for the, as the year goes on. And last question for you. Kristen Largue is going to break the all-time digging record here at Did American. She, today she, or no? Not today, but oh. it's going to happen oh. soon. Probably won't happen at home. Uh -huh. Talk about what it's meant for you to have a four-year starting libero. Yeah, you know, you don't really get too many of those uh, where somebody can come in and be a freshman and be ready to go after it. And uh, when I was recruiting Kristen, it was interesting. She just walked in the office. I didn't really know her very well, her and her dad. We talked a little bit and uh, she said she played for this club in Arizona that I knew was a good club and uh, started, saw some films and she was interesting but didn't know what we would do and you know, you know how much it would be worth our team to have her, these kind of things and you know, I went out to the Nationals at the championships in the summer and saw the girl play and she was a quiet girl in the office comes in real nice, I didn't know her very well I, I remember you, at, you asked her why yeah. she wanted to come here and didn't yeah. really have an answer for you at no, first. she didn't, she was kind of flabbergasted with the whole process <laughs> I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. And uh, I just saw her playing and said, wow, this girl really goes after it well. And I uh, liked her. And she came in, and that first year, she, uh, first weekend, I think she was an all-tournament team in her freshman year uh, for the first tournament of the year of her career. And she's just been there solid. Um, all, all players have their own moments of being, you know, a little bit off balance and finding it. But for Kristen, she keeps working hard, and she's doing a great job for us. That's head coach Barry Goldberg. I'm Ethan Jenkins here on the Post Game Show. American coming off a 3-0 sweep of Colgate. Our next home matches after AU hits the road. Holy Cross, Friday the 15th of November. And then Lafayette for Senior Day, Saturday the 16th on Senior Day.